So usually unlike other stores, Jordan Soul, you can customize your shoes. So you guys can see. So cool. They did like a recreation of the Chunky Dunkies. I think that that's so cool. So what you could do is you could choose different designs. So cool. So Jordan Soul has the Jordan Soul number three. Wow. This is the biggest Jordan in Korea. Super huge. So right now they have the Jordan 5, some 4s, the Flint. Hi! It's OTD. So I need to wear the same outfit to pick up the shoe, so we're gonna go pick up the shoe. How the raffle works is they send you a message and then they check to see if that's you. Also something I want to say is that they have these shoes here which is crazy just laying around like the Melody of Sonny's isn't it? Isn't it pretty? <laughs> so I want these. Only wants these. <laughs> I think it's a good shoe. Slow though. It's okay. How much is it? Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, that's why. Because because you can get the breads for even 209 only. That's 219. Yeah. So right now they're doing a new system where you can raffle and with iPads, and I think this is a line to do that. So I just picked up the tie dye shoes, and right now they are going to raffle for court purple. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually not gonna do my size. I'm gonna put in a raffle for Eddie because he asked me to. And yeah, there's just a line, but I think. It should finish soon. Thing that I want to say about the backside of these stairs is that it has crazy artwork. It goes around like this. Ooh. Originally, if you come to the top of the floor, this is what you see. You can't go in here right now, though, from what I know. And that is a wrap for the Jordan store. And it looks like that. Now I'm gonna go eat. Um, I will do an unboxing and on feet for you guys when I get home. But yeah, keep on watching, guys. Yes, we're finny. Also, a lot of you guys might be aware, but I actually changed the format and the setting of the shoes in the back. I actually showed it so that you guys can actually see the shoes. And yeah, it turns out that this box just so happens to be perfect for my shoes like if it's a little bit over my actual shoe size I can't put it like this so I'm on a lucky case I also finished my puzzle back there I framed it but yesterday I couldn't really unbox um, when I came home currently I have two new shoes that I have to open and then I got a bunch of 
products from CJ. They sent it to me in the mail. I have to see what products I actually picked out. I always forget um, what products I pick out because I just kind of buy it on the whim and then I'm like, okay, you know what? And then I forget about it. So I have to go look at that. And then also, Fenty Beauty has sent me a package as well. Um, let's go with the CJ stuff first. I actually picked out a bunch of Iopin things for my mom. My mom really loves Iopin. Also, if you guys ever want to buy any um, skincare for your parents, I think that Iopin is a very good deal. So I got it a Bio Essence Intensive Conditioning. Looks like this. I also got her a foundation because she said she wanted to try the Iopit foundation. My mom loves the Iopit cushion, but she has never tried the foundation, so I'm going to be giving her... Also, I picked her up a vitamin C serum. Um, this is just pure vitamin C, 23 pincettes. It improves the looks of age spots, wrinkles, firmness, brightness, and proves benefits from clinical tests. I should have picked this up for myself. Okay, and then I also got her a Derma Repair Sika Gel Cream. She originally wanted a different cream. My mom loves Iopay creams. But I gave her this one because I feel like um, she is in need for repair. My mom also has a couple of like hormonal acne scars. So that is something I picked up for her. There are two things that I picked up from Hanyu which I am a big fan of. So. As you guys know, I have talked about this immensely. This is the Red Rice Essential Skin Softener. I love this. I probably went through about three so far. Um, it's been doing great for my skin. And also, since I like Hanyu, I kind of wanted to try their sheet mask. I haven't tried it, but I would have to say the packaging is super cute. Like, look at this. Oh, wait, this is different for each one. The, oh, are they all different? Oh my gosh, they are. This is so cool. Okay, so one of them is for moisture, which is posup, so panyak and moisture, and then yongyang and poho. So basically, this one's for renourishing and then also protecting, and then this one's for calming down and trouble. And the last one is for moisture and to calm down. So, this is great. I feel like this would be a really good gift to give somebody like as a present because you get everything. Maybe I should give this to my mom. Hmm. So the next product that I have is not a surprise. I actually picked up Kiss Me products. Um, I picked up a new one. This is a skinny brush. I usually just stick by these two, but um, yeah, for those of you guys who have been subscribed to my channel know that these are not foreign items. I probably have been using these for five years religiously. I don't know, I feel like I have tried a lot of mascaras and I have tried a lot of eyeliners, but I always end up coming back to these, so I had to pick it up because I always like to have backup. And then... I recently ran out of these two. Um, they're the COSRX Original Clear Pads. I love the clear pads, especially in the summer because I tend to break out a little bit more because I think I am sweating and then I don't, I'm wearing makeup. So I recently picked this up for the summer. Recently, I also ran out of Kiehl products. You guys know that I always use these two. Um, this is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner and then I also use the face wash for this. So these two I've been probably using for about, I would say, under a year or like around a year. And I don't know, I just feel like I haven't really found anything better so I haven't been trying anything out. But yes, I actually picked these up too. And then I picked up a L'Oreal Shine On color lipstick. I usually don't wear like shiny lipsticks. I just tend to go for matte, but I feel like I need lipsticks. Ooh, look at the packaging. I'm gonna try putting it on right now. Mmm! Oh my god! Love it. And then I also picked up um, another Hanyu foundation. I use foundations, but I figured that using 
um, foundations from brands that I am currently using what's going to be a better option. So I picked up a Hanyer Cover Foundation in the color 21N. But I also picked up a Clio Glow Cover Cushion. I don't know how this is going to work out. I am kind of contemplating if I made the wrong decision because during the summer, I tend to go for more matte products because I feel like I sweat so much so if I have something that's very glowy or dewy I feel like it just doesn't stick to my face so I'm gonna be having to try this out I will let you guys know how I feel about it but I also picked this up and then last but not least I picked up two Clio palettes that look like this number two pink addict and then the other color is in coral sparkle so basically, guys, this packaging is everything. This is the Pink Addict palette. The thing I like about Clio eyeshadows is that it normally comes with a brush, which is great for just on the go and even traveling. But let's take a look at these colors. Wow. Personally, I like that color. Hmm, super excited to try this. I might try a palette out today, whichever one I like better. The coral one is also in more of an orange and then the pink addict is in more of a pink so definitely there is going to be a difference in the packaging and the packaging is everything so let's open it up hmm it actually looks fairly similar in my opinion okay, I'm gonna show it what do you guys think it almost looks fairly similar to me Hmm. Originally, I like coral colors more, but it seems like this pink palette is drawing to me. So I'm going to be trying out this pink palette today. Yay! And then I also picked up another Clio Auto Hard Brow Pencil. You guys know that I use this too. So I picked up four or five products from Clio and then Hanyu, Iope. Um, Kiss Me and Kosarex. So basically what I like to do is when I shop for products, if I like a brand, I tend to go for different items in that brand because I feel like it kind of matches me better. There are definitely brands where I don't match any of their makeup or I don't like any of their skincare. So what I like to do is whenever I buy products, I like to buy it in the same company or same brand of the products. But basically that was pretty much it of everything that I got for CJ. Alright guys, so I'm going to be putting on my makeup. I'm going to try this and I also think that I want to try the Iope foundation and see how it is because I have been trying out different foundations. So yeah. So I did put on the foundation. I used the Iope Perfect Cover Foundation and I would say that it isn't 100% my color match but I don't mind it because I don't powder my face so throughout the day my foundation tends to oxidize and it does get a little bit darker so right now it might look a little bit more white than um, my neck color but um, throughout the day I tend to notice that my foundation always gets darker since I don't powder my face don't worry because I am aware of that as well I'm going to be just putting on some blusher. I have been still using the Clio blusher. The thing I like about Clio, I feel like the palettes that they come out with are super natural and you can use it on an everyday daily basis, which is the reason why I like it. I also like that there's a very big variety of colors you can choose. And yeah. Honestly, I love using blusher because I feel like blusher gives me life. Seriously, it's my face. It might look a little bit. All right. What I like to do is after I put on my blusher, I tend to go in with the beauty blender that I use my foundation in and then I just tap really lightly so that the blush could look a little bit more natural. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with the palette. I think that I'm gonna be using this color. I am gonna be using the brush that it comes with because I feel like then we can get to really know how well the brush works. So for those of you guys who like very pigmented eyeshadows, this might not be the palette for you because I tend to realize that a lot of Korean 
um, eyeshadow palettes are very sheer and almost just really natural which is half and half I feel like that's just the makeup look a lot of Koreans tend to go for so if you guys are wanting something pigmented I feel like it might not be the palette for you I personally don't mind because I like to just build up my eyeshadows and it doesn't really bother me but if you guys are wanting something that's super pigmented I don't think this palette's gonna be for you so I'm done with my makeup now oh I really like this I didn't think that I would like something like too glossy but I think that it works out all right all right guys so now I'm gonna be opening the shoes I'm gonna be opening the tie-dye one first because I'm super excited. I already saw it in store, but I want to show you guys a little bit more in person. These actually released in Korea a lot earlier than the US. From what I know, the US it's supposed to release June 26th. But I feel like in Korea it released literally like two and a half weeks earlier, if not three. It's been out for I would say like a week and a half. But woo! God. This is so cool. So basically this is going to be the Jordan 1 tie-dye. I got this in a size 7, so that is going to be Euro 38 UK 4.5 and Ebex High Cheap. Um, I actually have another shoe coming on the way that's 235, so that's going to be 6.5, but Something I want to say that's really interesting about this shoe is that this isn't even like a leather. It almost feels like it was suede but then the tie-dye got printed on. I would say that it feels fairly rough and you could definitely see that it was printed on. I don't hate it though because I think that this is such a sick shoe. I wanted the shoe so bad. The inside sock liner is going to be satin which reminds me of the satin black toe definitely so basically it's the same material and the Nike Air logo is going to be white and also fabric and I want to show you guys detail shots the swoosh the toe I personally think that they did a really good job of the blue and the green when they mixed it together and the back definitely looks more tie-dye so what they say that the color is, it's white, black, aurora green, aurora green. So I'm guessing that this is, this is going to be aurora green. Yeah, I think so. Woo! Do you see that? The, damn, royal toe, the tie-dye, and then the obsidian, blue, blue, blue. Woo! That looks really good. All right. So that was basically the unboxing for the tie-dye. I personally think that this is a sick shoe. I'm really glad I got to pick it up. Thank God. Because if I didn't, I would have been so heartbroken. Next up, it is going to be the CDG Dunks. So I recently got this at CDG Hanam, and I also raffled for these shoes as well. Surprisingly, I looked at the tag and um, it seems like it got imported from Japan. So I'm guessing that Korea didn't get an actual like authorization for it. Um, they had to get it imported from Japan. So yeah, it's really interesting because a lot of the shoes in Korea, if you look at the tags, it's from NikeCO.kr. I never had any of the shoes that I got from Korea having a Japanese tag which was very interesting as you guys can see and yeah this is how the shoe looks like this is the CDG print I also got this in a size 240 or a size 7 I am debating if I am going to be wearing these out or keeping them for a while to be honest I don't really like the look this shoe has it's really weird I don't mind dunks being very chunky but something about this shoe, since the fabric is so thin, yet the toe area is so 
chunky. It kind of throws me off and it almost looks like clown shoes in a way. I haven't worn it, but just looking at the silhouette, I know that it is not going to be a silhouette that is like super ideal in just my shoe collection. I like to have my shoes pretty chunky, but just this material, since it's so thin on the top, it, it just it just looks weird here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of feel what I'm feeling too. So if you guys are interested in this shoe, let me know um, if you're in Seoul or if you guys are ever visiting Korea and it's still in my hands, I will sell it to you guys for retail price um, as of now at least because I don't really think that I'm going to be wearing it yet I don't really want to sell it for a super expensive price either and yeah if you guys are interested let me know the receipt is in here as well so you guys don't need to worry about that and I did not wear it this is going to be a size 240 so a size 7 in women's and let me know if you guys want it and that is the end to this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be trying out Fenty products soon. I'm not going to be doing that in this video. They just sent me a bunch of things. So I'm going to be maybe uploading that in a different video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one. Bye!